What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Center Beacon. In this episode, we are going to take a look at the brand new cloaking unit module. This is a module that basically allows you to turn any robot into a stealth robot. Once upon a time, we only had the stalker. Could go stealth for several seconds, so you basically couldn't target the thing. Now we have a few other robots that do that, and now we have a module that lets us basically do it to any robot in our inventory that we want to put it on. So there's definitely some utility here. It is a one-time effect. It's a one-use effect, much like a Battleborn module. It activates for a period of time, and then once its activation has been completed, you do not get any more bonus or effect or benefit from that module. It's basically just a dead module riding in your robot at that point. You can stack them. You can have up to three of them, depending on how many module slots you have and how many cloaking units you own. So like Battleborn or something else, you can benefit from stacking multiples. You could run two of these in a last stand, and basically what it's going to do is it's going to give you two random stealth activations. It is based roughly on how much damage you're taking in a certain amount of time. You can kind of see they put in an X and Y in the description, so we don't really know which type of formula they're using or what type of formula they're using. It's just going to be a certain amount of damage over a certain amount of time. I'm guessing it's basically like you're getting curb stomped by a motorcycle gang, so this thing is going to activate. You're going to get the hell out of there and go get yourself a bubble tea and heal up. I'm not exactly sure there's a mathematical formula for that, so we're going to use X and Y instead. All right, I'm feeling strong. I think I've done like two videos in two days, which is a new record for me. This beautiful chariot right here is going to be our test machine. You can see we have three times cloaking units. That's what it does. We already looked at that card earlier. So again, these things are going to stack. It is a one-time effect, as you can see there. And every time somebody hits me, they're going to use up one of these three cloaking units. So we want to try to avoid that if at all possible as we're moving into position to use our ability or whatever it is. Try to watch out for those stray shots, because if you take too much damage, those things will tick off and activate, and then be useless to you the rest of the match. Quick look at the skills. You can see we've changed up a couple of things. We talked about that in a previous video. Got old Adrian Chong's on here for some extra damage. So here's what we're going to be facing off against in the first part of this video. We're going to be facing off against the Atomizer Leech. You can see he's running some overdrives. Very, very powerful there. Then we're going to take a look at a Blitz and a Scorpion. And basically I'm going to one versus one those three bots in three little duels. And then we're going to go into some live gameplay. So here's a quick look at the skills. This is on my actual personal account. And these robots are piloted by my very capable 14-year-old son who's actually pretty good at the game. The Blitz. This thing is nasty. This is the one that I was talking about. The uh, pilot isn't all the way leveled up, but on this thing it almost doesn't really matter. It's already pretty capable. Thermo nuke, heavy armor, and the very, very deadly Corkers. So all the weapons and stuff are maxed. Pilot's not. And then a lot of these skills need to be sort of maxed out. I'm still working on this guy. So you would think he'd be at a disadvantage, but he's really not. This thing is a very powerful build. Very, very good pilot. Lastly, not leastly, the uh, Scorpion. This is my personal Scorpion. My personal baby. So I put a heavy armor on there just to give it a few more hit points. Thermo nuke, last stand, pretty standard stuff. I got uh, my, uh, my own personal Adrian. So uh, kind of weird, but uh, yes, I own my own personal Adrian Chong. All these skills are completely maxed out, so you would think that my son would have as much of an advantage as possible against me in the upcoming duels. We'll get this started here, but something tells me the teenager is going to beat me like a drum. However, this should be a pretty good way to learn how to run these modules and how we want to get them to work for us on the battlefield. So you can see in this first exchange here, that's that atomizer leech that we quickly looked at. We're basically just dueling it out. One versus one, custom game. 
Just going to kind of try to get into range and see what's what. This isn't really a brawler. I've been playing this thing for a while now, and it's it's an assassin. It can be very bursty, very deadly, but it is not a frontline brawler. There goes basically the first activation of my cloaking units. So you can see the little blue icon in the left underneath the Titan bar. Has a eyeball there when another activation. You can get this like purple yellowish like shield effect thing. So I've already lost two of those cloaking units and I'm down to one. Now what that's doing for me though is he is unable to target me while that sphere is active. Right there he just lost target again but that was my last cloaking unit. So with something like an atomizer leech he has an advantage because he's first of all he's a brawler. He's got that ability which just came back and hammered me with it. But those atomizers never stop firing. So if you're going up against somebody running one of these things you can actually see the activation as an icon above their head so you'll know when he's when he's running these things he might have one only one he might have two or three I doubt he has three but he's gonna have one or two so it'd be just like somebody running a battleborn you want to try to hit him from as far away as you can trigger that module and let that thing run its course and then when his stealth goes down he goes down and then he can't use it anymore it's basically a dead module slot at that point this is going up against the uh, Blitz with the Corkers. Very, very tough build. We saw earlier where he has that Wonder Worker, although it's only very slightly leveled. But that Wonder Worker's helping him out. But he is doing some healing. He got some of that health back that we chipped away there. Very tough fight. Again, this is not a brawler, this is an assassin. So far, I'm the one being assassinated. You can see those cloaking units, they get ripped off pretty quick. And then you have no more modules that are helping you out. I could see maybe running one of these, maybe two at tops. I'm not necessarily seeing the kind of feedback that I'd like to see where I would consider running two all the time or three. What I like about it, though, is if you do want to have the benefit of this thing, you're going to be giving up some damage. You know, you're going to give up a thermo nuke, you're going to give up an overdrive unit, you're going to give up uh, a heavy armor if you're looking to make your bot a little beefier. Let's see if I can sneak in behind him on this one. So cagey. So cagey. I think his aim's better than mine, too damn 14 year old reflexes had to get out of there I was getting cooked by those things those corkers when I play in squad when they fire so rapidly like that they basically just mute out all other game sound I don't know if they're aware of that or not but it basically breaks the sound of everything else in the game so this is going to be scorpion versus scorpion and as you can see I'm already getting scorpion he already backstabbed me but I was kind of looking for it and I went immediately to phase shift. So that's where if you're looking to counter these scorpions, having phase is certainly something that can help you out. If you're in something a little tankier than he is, he's probably not going to want to sit there and trade with you because he'll lose as much of his bot as he takes off of you. There's an activation of that ability again. You can see the purple shield. Then it's basically telling me over there on the left-hand side, that little icon, I've got one ability left. And as soon as he gets another shot on me, that thing will tick off. And there it went. And that's it. No more modules. Oh! I finally teach the little whippersnapper a lesson, damn it. Take that, Dane. That's right, you surly little SOB. So we're going to move on to say, hey, wait a second. Ah! All right. We're going to do a live gameplay match now. I've banished my son and grounded him so we don't have to worry about him anymore. Moon map, pretty good map, pretty good geometry for this thing's ability. Very small, tight quarters. So we should be able to backstab many, many peoples up in here. Up in here. Here we go. Backstab away. Ooh. Ooh, a jumping Ravana. Damn it. So basically what I've learned is to try to see where the Ravanas are and not try to backstab those guys because usually they're going to have 
nine or ten transcendences or whatever it's called. This guy didn't really seem to want to use his. I'm not sure why. Because I'm kind of tearing him up there a little bit. Then he finally decides to start transcending. The bad thing was, or I guess the good thing, basically what allowed me to survive that situation were all those cloaking units. The bad thing was is that he ripped off every single one of them, and I don't have any more for the rest of this match, but I think it allowed me to hang in that fight maybe a little bit longer than I would have uh, otherwise. Because those Ravanas, they have more hit points than I do, he's got more firepower than I do. So we used him up all at once there, but it kind of kept us alive. This is a great spot on this map if you do have a Scorpion. You can translocate to all of the key positions pretty readily. You can get to beacons, you can get to their spawn. You can get you can go up above like I am now. You can also uh, backstab or whatever you call it, translocate down. So pretty handy map for this build. Now if you do run this thing first, it may not fill your Titan bar as rapidly. I think I've I picked up a couple of beacons here already. So the Titan bar is looking okay. But I have noticed that, so depending on the map, you may not want to run this thing first. But a map like this, you're probably fine. I felt dirty about that one. That guy might have been disconnected. We're going to say he wasn't, though. We're going to say he was actually actively stream sniping me. Or whatever they call it when you're not live streaming, you're just recording. He was definitely trying to snipe me. He was gunning for me. I'd like to get down there. But I'm um, getting shot in the rear end. In the behind. Take this, sir. Figures it'd be a T-Falcon. Let's see if I can drop this sucker. Nobody sneaks up on me when I'm doing a bot that sneaks up on you. Yeah! And then back to the middle. Try to recap this beacon, too. Yeah, give me that beacon. Give me those honor points filthy suckers. This is actually a pretty good game. This went back and forth and I'm just going to let it run. Normally I cut and edit, but pretty decent demonstration of the cloaking units and then just this build and its utility. We got the shotguns that I like. We've been talking about those in a number of the videos. I'll link to some of those and the things so you can just click on it with your finger or your mouse if people still use mouses. Mice. And you can check those out, talk about a number of different builds and several other videos. But just a, a good solid run in this bot with those uh, cloaking units that I probably would have died a long time ago if I had not had those three get out of jail free cards. The jumping, sparking blitz. That was pretty cool. Saw a behemoth up there. I had, he had to die. He had to go. There's no way I'm going to let a dude sit up there like a giant nerd with four heavy weapons in a behemoth. He's got to go. You have to go, sir. My legs are busted. I hate it when that happens. I want a module that repairs my legs. I don't like having broken legs. Well, I knew that wasn't going to go well. I'm not going to go to my Titan because I frankly don't need it. We'll go to that later if we need to get bailed out. So this build here, little bonus action, Scourge Spark. I did a whole video on this just the other day, and that video is also a contest video. So if you're watching this video, you never heard of that video, maybe I'll link that video too. Click over to that video. That video is running an Atomizer giveaway. So I'm kind of touting that video as well and giving you an opportunity to win 50, one of 50 Atomizers, I should say. 50 different people will win one Atomizer a piece for free wasn't crazy about this build it's not the worst thing in the world so i basically did this because people were asking about it and you know maybe this is all you got maybe you don't have the storms leveled or maybe they're on a ravana you know it's on another favorite robot setup and you don't want to change it maybe this is all you got it's workable it is not my favorite but it is certainly doable this was a fun match man this thing went back and forth these guys fought hard as heck this was actually a good example of matchmaking. I've been getting some of those lately. Really good example. So sweet ability there. I'm still kind of rooted or locked down, even though I translocated, backstabbed out of it. But at least I got to put some damage on that guy. So in addition to phase releasing you from the lockdown, you can 
backstab out of it as well and at least get closer to somebody and hurt them. Break their faces. Ooh, the Aujuns die. Hate Aujuns so bad. Don't get me wrong, I like them when I run them. I just hate them when other people run them. I don't think I'm going to survive this. I got a lot of people angry at me here. Oh, weapons popping off. Tried to, tried to sneak out. Tried to sneak out of there. I'm going to backstab away. No, dude, smoke me. Now you're going to pay. Oh, you're so lucky that match ended. So lucky. It's going to hammer you with my win bot. Win button right there. So that's it on this video. We talked about the cloaking unit. We ran three of those on the shotgun build. We got a little bonus storm. Uh, pardon me, not storm. Scourge spark. That's it for this one. As always, I will see you next time at the Center Beacon.